Good morning, and welcome to First Congregational United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. I hope you are having a good morning and wanted to let you know that I am on vacation until August 1st. So if you uh, need pastoral care, uh, please uh, call Jerry Fritz. Uh, the number is found in the constant contact uh, bulletin that you received that links you to uh, this sermon, or excuse me, this welcome. And I hope that you have a good uh, two weeks as I continue to bring the, the message on the parables of Jesus. So today we will be discussing the wheat and the tares. Now, the tares is just a fancy word for weeds, all right? So the wheat and the weeds. So we'll be talking about both today and about how we can grow uh, towards the light of Christ. Jesus Christ came into the world to give us light, a light that helps us grow, helps us reach out, and to produce good fruit. May the peace of Christ be with you all, and also with you. A call to confession. Our failures, shortcomings, and sin are like strong weeds in our lives. We confess them to God so that we may clear away anything that would choke out our nourishing connection to, with God and each other. Let us pray. Please join me in our prayer of confession. You will find it uh, in the lower half of the part of your video that says show more. Gracious God, in the fields of our lives we strive to be fruitful, but we fall short. We get so comfortable that we sleep when we need to be vigilant about the errors in our own lives and the injustices around us. We are so casual about wrongdoing that it creeps into our lives and threatens to overwhelm the good we do. We do not pay attention to the unjust systems which shape our lives that we must work to transform so that your beloved community may come to be. Forgive us. Keep us awake so that we can produce the lives you call us to live. Amen. So know this, church. You are not God's tenants or employees. You are God's precious family. In the words of the Apostle Paul, you did not receive a spirit of servitude to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. As God's children in God's embrace, you are forgiven and free. Grow in the love of Christ. Amen.